every day as a Jewish American, I feel in my body the 26,000 Palestinians who were slaughtered, everyone who was slaughtered in, in 1948, everyone who was slaughtered in 1967, and everyone who has been slaughtered in between who are Palestinians because of the creation of Israel. And as a Jewish person, I do not, I do not stand, and I cannot stand with that blood in my hands. And because of that, I would like to take some time right now for all of you to look around the room. She asked you, don't be distracted by them. Don't be distracted I by them. I multiple you. times said, look around okay, the room. Okay, I actually said, look around the room. I actually said, said, look I actually said to look at those and, places of these innocent people. And, oh, they're not innocent because they're under. No, I didn't say that either. Okay, whatever. Well, I would like to read the Mourner's Codice now to recognize all of these I'm, 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 With all due respect, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm sorry. The Mourner's Codice is way, way, no, 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 sorry. I'm, I'm not, no, no, and this is not something that you do. You need a minion, you cannot do this. I'm sorry, I'm a religious Jew. Are you telling me how I can display my I'm Jewish telling you how I'm going to run an event that I am I am the speaker of. If you'd like to go say Kaddish out in the hallway or quietly by yourself, you're totally welcome to. And anybody who ever starts a statement with as a Jew, I promise you they are not speaking for the Jewish people. They are speaking for themselves oh, and holding really themselves. Like um, any Jews in the room, did she speak for you? Yes. And you're the second one who would also say, as a Jew, who doesn't represent anyone else in the Jewish community. Sorry, if you ever have to start a statement with, as a Jew, you know for a fact that you are speaking out against what the Jewish community or I'm defending myself. With all due respect, who you just spoke about 26, you just spoke about, you just spoke about 26,000 people and said that they were slaughtered and you, include, you included 10,000 Hamas terrorists in the process. And the fact that you cannot make that separation says everything about how you see this conflict. With all due respect, we are not slaughtering people. We are trying to take out terrorists who just slaughtered us. And by the way, 1948 was a war started by Arab Palestinians. 1967 was a war started by the Arab countries of Egypt, Jordan, and Syria. So how you can argue that we slaughtered people in those wars when we did not start them and we did not ask for them and every single one of them was calling for the annihilation of the state of Israel. So basically join the rest of them who say that I just need to lay down and die. Please, because I don't have anywhere else to go. And many other Jews would say the same thing. So live comfortably here in America. And, I can't and, live no, no, comfortably in America while everyone else please. is being killed in no, Israel. No, 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 but you do. do. You do. As a Jew, you live comfortably in America and you're able to sit there and say I what do, you just said. But say it, right now, say it to the Yemenite Jews. Jews. I'm say it to the Yemenite Jews. Say it to the Jews of Libya. Oh, right, there are none because they were all killed or kicked out. Say it to the Jews of France who right now are fleeing en masse. Yeah, it's very, very comfortable to sit in your high ivory tower and talk down to people who are trying to protect themselves from terrorism and from people who just gang raped us. I'm not gonna stand for it, I'm sorry. I just won't. How you com they completely ignore terror and stand up as a Jew, as if somehow that gives you more legitimacy, it doesn't. You could be a Jew and you could be as equally as ignorant as everybody else. And you just saw it. She started by saying 1948. I didn't start a war in 1948. A war was started against me in 1947 and I defended myself in that war. And another war was started against me in 1967, and I defended myself. And if you say what, what that girl just said, basically the message that you are sending to Jews and to Israel is that we just need to be destroyed. I get it. I understand. I get that if you feel this way, then it's very uncomfortable to live in a world where Jews can finally defend themselves. And that you want to stand here and say Kaddish and act as if we should apologize for defending ourselves. I'm never going to. I don't know how many times I have to say it, and I know that no matter how many times, some people won't believe me. But I genuinely care about innocent Palestinians, which is why I stand up and speak out the way that I do. Because I genuinely believe that they are the victims of Hamas. And every day that you don't speak out against Hamas is another day that you are getting more people killed. And how you don't see that, how you don't see that you are causing direct harm to the people that you are trying to protect, just doesn't, it's, it's, you're so blind by an ideology that has somehow preached to you that I, a people that have been historically oppressed, somehow is now the oppressor. When every step of the way, if you just go back and look at the evidence, this is an oppressed group that continues to try to protect themselves from people who continue to try to destroy them. And again, I'll say it again, thank God I live in a world where I can defend myself. Because that girl and everyone else who's standing up is telling me exactly what kind of world that they would like to live. A world where we can just slaughter Jews and nobody's gonna defend them.
because that's what we're doing right now. You say that, but when you call for a ceasefire, when you tell us to stop doing what we're doing in Gaza, you're basically telling me to die. Because Hamas has said over and over again that they will kill me over and over until I'm dead. So how many more Jews need to die? How many more Jews need to die for us to be, for you to be able to finally say, you know what, Jews do have the right to defend themselves.